many of the fictions that you create reflect upon what it means to be human, what our place in this world could be, and how we, as an individual or as a species, will make an impact. In that regard, a fascinating topic is that of the human's possible evolutions, and among them, the philosophy of transhumanism. Transhumanism is a movement that officially dates back to 1957, when Jalen Huxley coined the term in an influential article. There are, however, plenty of precursors and earlier thinkers that already dealt with the same kind of ideas and asked the same kind of questions. Roughly speaking, transhumanism wonders how humans can use technology to evolve and become better, what the potential benefits and dangers of emerging tech are, what should be considered natural or ethical, and how these standards may evolve over time. It's deeply transdisciplinary, since it relates to genetics, robotics, electronics, nanotech or AI, but also spirituality, politics, philosophy, sociology, and many more. In a nutshell, members of this movement usually raise the following question. To which extent can we, and should we, transform human beings, and will we still remain the same species if we do? Although there are many different currents in the transhumanist philosophy, the evolutionary perspective is the main focus, and most transhumanists envision a future new intelligent species to replace the humans we know today, in one form or another. So, of course, there are plenty of stories that revolve around transhumanism to a certain degree, but some dive deep into these questions and dedicate their story and their world to it. For example, the Deus Ex series of video games explicitly focuses on the possible excesses and dangers of transhumanism. Set in a dystopian cyberpunk futuristic world, the six Deus Ex games are first-person shooters, or FPS, with a rich narrative and a great atmosphere. Developed by Ironstorm and Eidos Montreal, most of the six games were liked both by players and critics for their original universe and the freedom of choice between the multiple storylines that they give the players. Also, though the main mechanics are from the FPS genre, it's worth noting that all the episodes in the series use diverse gameplay styles, and so you also have some stealth or role-playing phases. This variety of styles is here to immerse you as much as possible in Deus Ex's universe, and to have you join the hero in his crusade against the large companies that compete for the control of the world. By switching between gameplays, you feel more in sync with the action on screen, and you create more of a connection with the hero, in particular through the RPG mechanics of character customization. But then, what world are you immersed in here? Well, the different stories talk of conspiracy theories, secret societies, powerful businessmen, oblivious media, and large epidemics. A cocktail of happy questions that the players are forced to ask themselves again and again as they decide the path of the hero. One of the main concerns in all Deus Ex games is whether it's ethical to take advantage of the new technologies to augment humans. In each episode, your hero is a super soldier that was cybernetically enhanced with nanobots or other tech prosthetics, and is therefore now more than a man, so to speak. But the question that you'll be faced with is, is he really better? As you progress through the narratives, you'll discover the political and the societal repercussions of this new tech, how it drives a wedge between people, and how technology in general can have some pretty bad consequences when in the hands of egotistic and powerful minds. All throughout the six games, the Deus Ex series puts various common aspects of transhumanism in the spotlight, like individual augmentation, in the form of genetic manipulations or tech implants, global threats, such as dangerous biological weapons and the famous Grey Death, societal changes and ethical debates, with the Augs being rejected as unnatural and even hunted in the latest episode Mankind Divided, and a lot more of interesting issues. But in truth to me, all this creates context for the real question. Could this will to go beyond 
also boiled down to transforming humans into something else, and therefore losing our human identity. That's one of the main critics against transhumanism, and it's something that Deus Ex regularly puts to the forefront while cleverly mixing it with the freedom of choice that the players have. In the Deus Ex games, as a player, you periodically make important decisions that impact the entire story, and the rest of the world. That's a great way of immersing the audience, of course, and giving players a sense of power. But it's also pretty interesting from a storytelling point of view. More often than not, your choices will oppose natural humans to augmented ones, and they will change the lives of hundreds, essentially making you an almighty being, with a lot on their shoulders. The end of Deus Ex Human Revolution is obviously a great example of the importance of your decisions, since the next episode in the series, Mankind Divided, relies on the long-lasting consequences of your enemies, but also of your own choices. In these games, you profoundly shape the world according to your own vision. Which, again, begs the question. Should humans do that? Or have you gone beyond and lost your humanity? So what if the Deus Ex series, with all its nanobots and cyberpunk platinum, was also an interesting showcase of transhumanist concepts and questions for the public at large? And please, tell me in the comments. Do you really think that pheromones are enough to make this guy reassuring and trustworthy with info? In the meantime, if you have other ideas of games that tell us something without us noticing, go ahead and share them in the comments. As always, thanks a lot for watching, and take care.